We talk more or less from a sign and graphic standpoint. So for us, it's been interesting over the last three years to see what predominantly are our customer base moving from focusing on external to internal. So whereas before it was about putting a sign above the door, it was about producing banners, it was about producing vehicle livery, now the focus has moved from outdoor to indoor and people have focused on walls, floors and anything you can do interior. I think as an industry we've kind of always learnt as we've gone along. So there, there hasn't been the places to go to go and learn to be a joiner for argument's sake because you didn't have enough joiner work. So you would learn to do things in the workshop. And that you have successes and you have things that don't go as well as you'd like them to do. And that's kind of where you build your skill from. What we've now got to try and do is encourage perhaps the younger generation to want to have a look at the industry because they're not they don't recognise it. They know that this, people have to make the signs, but nobody really knows how they get that. I think a number of years ago we realised that it was it was focusing on attitude rather than ability, because ability just wasn't out there for us. There was no clear educational path into our sector. We tend to find people coming in from a design background or a graphics background. What we what we look to do is bring people in with the right attitude and we'll work with that all the time and then we look to upskill them through the business and actually grow them through the business and most of our franchisees, that's how they look to employ. The challenge we have um, is probably looking for skilled individuals. They're very few and far between and when they are with current employers, current employers will retain them at, at every cost because we know that they are a rarity in our business. There have been a few big changes. The introduction of the apprenticeship levy uh, has been a major change. The government are pushing apprenticeship training very hard. Uh, what that means is that for smaller companies, and those, uh, those companies with a payroll of less than £3 million, the government will actually pay 90% of the tuition cost of an apprentice. And for the larger companies, uh, they have to pay a levy, which they then must use within two years on apprenticeship training or they lose it. That has, in our experience, driven much greater interest in apprenticeship training from the sector and I think that's a very good thing but there are lots of wrinkles around the rules and that's a whole other area. So actually we have quite a strong culture of training apprentices in the sector and I think that's quite encouraging. Finding people to bring into the sector though is a universal challenge and it's certainly true in, in all aspects of print. It's actually true in almost every other sector you talk to and there isn't an easy answer.